The coronavirus disease keeps the whole world in suspense. But have you heard of aerosols being a factor in spreading the virus? They are emitted when you breathe or speak. Science says aerosols behave like smoke. They are defined as liquid or solid particles smaller than one micrometer. And they can carry the virus. So when you speak, it might be dangerous for the people around you. But how dangerous? Let's test it in a classroom. First, we need to prepare the classroom. We measure one and a half meters so that every student can keep a safe distance. To see the smoke a little better, we close the curtains. And we set up some lights. Now, our test students can come in and take seats all over the room. We want to see exactly how aerosols behave in the classroom. Yep. So, for the first test, we use a fog machine to visualize the aerosols. This does not totally reflect reality. But you can see the smoke a lot better in the cameras. If the coronavirus would be that smoke, every student in the room would have a high risk of infection. The aerosols spread slowly all over the classroom and stay there until you open the windows. <laughs> and it takes at least 10 minutes to get the room nearly smoke-free. This is a time lapse of 10 minutes. And you can see how long it takes until the room is clear again. In the next test, we make it more realistic. Now, we use an electric cigarette to create the smoke. That is more similar to the amount of aerosols that are emitted when speaking. For that experiment, the students in the classroom have to blindfold themselves. The smoke has no nicotine, but a strawberry flavor. The students should raise their hands as soon as they smell it. After only 30 seconds, the first hand goes up. A second student raises his hand one minute later. And there goes hand number three, after two minutes and 15 seconds. The fourth hand takes a little longer, four minutes and 30 seconds. And there we go with student number five, after six minutes and 45 seconds. The students on the left side were the first to raise their hands. Heat sources, like our lamps, attract the smoke. The student in the last row, though, didn't smell anything, even after 20 minutes of smoking. Does that mean we should all sit in the last row to be safe? No, because that's what happens when a student gives an answer during class. So, you can say that if you are in a closed room, the aerosols can reach everybody after a few minutes. That results in a higher risk of a corona infection. Let's try the same experiment with open windows. So, blindfolds on and let's go. Because of the constant airflow in the room, 
Only the students in the first row could smell something. But that means still not everybody is safe. Only if the teacher stands right next to the window. Not the best solution, right? So let's try one last thing, face masks. First, students and teachers both wear face masks, but later, only the students. We already know that masks help against a corona infection by droplets, but what about aerosols? Blindfolds on. With a face mask, the smoke can't spread that easily. So, even after 10 minutes of smoking, no hand went up in the air. Now, the teacher has to take off his mask. And we have a hand in the air after 30 seconds. The next one follows a few moments later. But the rest of the students don't smell anything. They seem to be protected by their masks. Only if the teacher does not keep the required distance and speaks right in front of his students, the hands go up. One after another. Even in the back row. But in total, it took over 25 minutes until everybody had raised their hands. That means a face mask can delay and minimize the risk of a COVID-19 infection. The results of this experiment if you are in a closed room, the risk of an infection with COVID-19 exists for everybody. So make sure to ventilate the room at least every 20 minutes for more than 10 minutes. Keep a safe distance and, wherever possible, wear a face mask. Stay safe. If you like that experiment, consider subscribing to this channel, World of Docs.